Hey guys, we're going to do this new tutorial. Uh, not, this is not a tutorial, this is a review. The right? first review of FS Studio Producer Edition new version 12.0.2. Uh, presently around the 32 bit version because uh, when I talk about, when I work with audio, I prefer to work in 32 bit rather than why 64 bit of computing for audio. Can you tell me why why 64 bit? Okay, 64 bit is really nice for OS, um, but a, about a DAW software, you need a 64 bit computing. I love 32 bit because I can capture the video, capture the screen at the same time without getting a glitch of the sound, and something shit like that. So this is the new FL Studio I tried to try out to today. A new revamped FL Studio with. Um, same stuff I got, but we recognize our interface, but the interface is not relocated re re look re with vector graphic based at it, not, um, and not raster, you know, bitmap graphic based. This is really nice. So that means vector, you can stretch the view of your stuff, so just like, uh, just like the meter, just like there. You can stretch the meter and the, the waveform there, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, you can stretch out everything in this. So, what's new in the FS Studio 12? Well, first, uh, the channel display is really relooked and uh, the change. Uh, what can I can say, everything is changed in one window. You don't remember I opened the kick. Uh, for example, okay, I put a plug in, example, insert. Um, Let's uh, oh, let's try the drum the drum um, FPC. I don't call the FPC is still the same old FPC. Okay, remember first when you open uh, the channel, there's a, there was a window appear this with all the stuff appear on it, and the plugin was separated in another channel just in case on the VST plugin. And everything is merged in one cool. Windows and that's window and this is really cool. So I get to saw the same panning, volume, pitch change, pitch band chain, and the number of the track you can assign to the track of the FX in the mixer, mixer track. So, uh, this is the new FPC, um, new drum, pretty nice as well. With the uh, with the new, um, this is there's the new um, preset breakbeat drums as well. Okay, but remember, I used to I used to uh, use the um, you know, the um, the sound found with all my drum, drum track, drum kits, and sound found. That's really nice. And, uh, the FPC got cool. Oh, seven seven oh seven drum machine. It's pretty nice there. Um, let's go to preset lead drum. Okay, I try the lead drum. This is a lead drum, but where's the cowbell and where's the uh, the clap? This is only the basic. And this, okay, one two three two two three two two. Okay, this is not complete lead drum kit, but uh, I got the dot step drum. Very pretty nice too. Um, uh, house drum. That's very nice. Yeah, this is uh, not my kind of music, but cool drum. Uh, rock like drums, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I got, and uh, for the setting, it's still the same chart that F10 uh, MIDI interface. The really revamp change setting. You got this MIDI setting, audio setting with the uh, ASIO, ASIO panel as well, as you uh, still use the ASIO fall. Same safe overload, the priority playback, and this all the same thing on FS is just still there. That's really nice. General stuff, okay. Uh, you can scale. Okay, remember this is a vector based graphic interface. Revamp it, red vector. It, that, that looks really pretty nice. Uh, this is this is optimized for touch screen, of course. You can 
you can uh, also uh, the, the the scaling yeah you can you can change the scale of the uh, interface that's something that the new the new stuff is, is going to be nice okay this is there's no more um, pre-computed legacy effect so, so the, um, you can say goodbye you can we can, we can detach all plugin alternate meter scale uh, show start of splash screen only one thing the sudden startup is a different advance okay what's that in advance don't leave it window to screen Fast sample preview to keep longer the time. Don't exercise control plan for side performance power plan. Okay, we're gonna change something. Okay, uh, animation, cool if sober, entertaining. Okay, so you have to turn on FL Studio first and reopen it. Sorry for the girls. <laughs> okay, this is the new stuff. Um, Slow down a little bit, entertain me. Yeah, we got some cool stuff animation there. Really entertaining. Uh, for the project file, you can specify your file there, first to do a session, and the file external tool, and of course the same VST plugin extra search folder. You can uh, reset, refresh plugin list, we can click on it. By the way, yeah, the plugin database re refresh plugin list really changed. This is the new interface, yeah. So you can you have no choice to do a, a start a scan very uh, very few very few plugin start scan, and you, you get scan and try it and scan all the VST put the and class the VST as the instruments and effect. So all right, something very really different, yeah. Uh, when you put a VST plugin and do it. Something I don't, I really don't understand. You do run an insert a VST plugin by right click on the channel, do insert. You don't see a VST plugin on the list. How you do that? It's really simple. You do that. Um, there's a the, in the browser. You can see all the stuff. You can see the the project and you can see the plugin. So you do the plugin database there. You can see the effect generator and do to the uh, mm, generate. Okay, this is the proper FL Studio. You go to the install and install if the OVST is are there. So you, you can see all the effect fruity or VST there. So, well, so I want I want uh, for example okay uh, I want a generator VST and uh, for example I want on the Adventus like this there and then. Really cool interface for the VST exchange. Now, you remember, can we open a VST plugin in the earlier version of FL Studio? You can see the plugin on the screen and you can see the, the other part, you know, the processing and the, the, the mis miscellaneous function are in different window and the plugin are in a different. It's too much window on the one screen. Everything is on one window, as you see. So you can access the plugin editor. The plugin wrapper setting, the fruity wrapper is still there. And you get the miscellaneous function as well as the key mapping. You remember the key mapping on the right side with the little key mapping on the right side? So you can do that now with this really, really simple, really. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, and of course, you get access to all the stuff in one window. The RPG Reator is still there. Um, the equally the fat mode, the group, uh, the level adjustment, the polyphony, uh, time, everything is there. So how you may do to do better than that, than that. And for the sampler channels, it's all the same. Uh, <coughs> the level adjustment, all the same standard stuff. And you get also the uh, pan, all the other stuff for the panning, envelope, volume, mod, this in X. Oh, this is, uh, the, there's a two new stuff there. You can use that mod X mod Y and the pitch shifting with a really really better than before. You know, it's this hmm. I don't know. I gotta try I'm gonna try to figure out on myself what's a big filter filter knob. Yeah, the, the old knob stuff really um really missing me. I'm really missing miss this one. Oh zooming Let's touch preview keyboard. 
I've got to figure out this stuff. Uh, so everything is there. So if you want to search a plugin, for example, okay, I want to so show, show me the mixer. This is a new mixer, FL Studio, still the slot for the, the effects, the master track, the chosen track. You can right click and say on um, this track, you can right click on the, the, the chosen track and say uh, select, um, where's the separator grid, dot to the right side, just like traditional way in FL Studio. You can also change the uh, compact mode, that see auto track, compact mode, compact two mode, wide, wide two, wide three, elf, extra large. Ugh. It's really nice. I, mean, I really love the new mixer. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the graphic interface is just remember me on Blood on Life a little bit. This is because of the vector based and graphic interface. And you can choose, uh, yeah, let's just say, Want to search? You click on the uh, smart find. I really love this tool, smart find. I want to do, for example, I want the the X30, and you zoom on the, the X30. I can find this there and slide it there. Cool, huh? So just like a little bit, just like a smart find, just like you can find a Reaper. So um, what about the new plugin? I want to do this very fast. Um, Okay, so you're, 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 when you right click, all the same shortcut is still there. This is the bass drum generator. This is something that really piss me off because producer in electronic music and dance music use this shit. Okay, um, profile on bass drum and the snare. Uh, what the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> Okay, nice plugin. I love, love the FPC as well. Um, drums, slide six, still the tuxedo. Oh, GMS. What's the GMS? Oh, this is a new plugin. This is a new synthesizer. Oh yeah, of course you can see all the stuff there. You can do a deal. A, you can hide the detail at setting to give more space. Pretty nice. This has got some um, preset on it. No preset. Where's the preset? No, no preset. Okay, the bang is there. And I like bass, 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 bouncy, bouncy, funky, so. Okay, lead and synth. This one's look pretty nice. Pattern texture, texture one. Get to see that this plugin a little bit closer. Yeah, the new version of Batcher I really don't like. So, Fact in the fact that I don't use this new Fuji Patcher because you get a map, you get a surface for the control, you get knob, XR sensor. Oh, you can add button as well. It's really nice. But the mapping, you can you don't have you know that that kind of guitar rig brand with all the plugins. So you click on it, everything is detached. Double click, detach, attach, everything is attached. So I really don't like that. <laughs> that. So that's why I come back. So I can open the open Terra rig. That's why I come back with the all um, traditional way to do my rig on the, with all the effects. So I can do as due to the file and save the mixer track state as and open the mixer track states and drag and drop. So that's that's really nice. So this for me this all for FL Studio. The mixer, the mixer is really well tough. Um, routing cable, you can see routing cable when right? each time you route one channel to another one. That's pretty nice. But, uh, that's really cool. nice. So the, definitely, definitely the fact that the smart find is pretty, pretty cool. The interface is really cool. Um, everything is really more simple. Uh, def definitely I adopt this new FS Studio 12. I really recommend this. So uh, this is my uh, official, now uh, I work with FL Studio 12 as well as I work with the uh, Reaper. So who's my number one? You're going to see that. Thanks for watching.